five, four, three, two. L1NK here, aka Shizzy with the Xbox, aka L1 the Philosopher, Bel Air, episode seven. <laughs> Let's talk about it. I want to try to get to these storylines so we can talk about how we feel about this episode. So, this episode seven, fall off of episode six, basically with Will and Lisa start smooching near the pool, right? So, the show starts. Uh, we start with, we start with Hillary Banks. <laughs> You already know where I'm going with this. The the sexy chef. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, so she finds out um that the, the video she filmed in the last episode that we see when her the lingerie that is online, but she didn't post it. The the the, the manager of the house uh, posted it for her because it's connected to the cloud. Um this is this is a little iffy for me. They're even starting to show off, I'm like, okay, let me get this straight. So you filmed it. But you, I guess, changed your mind at the end. So you're mad that he posted. True. He, he rated your uh, intellectual property and, and privacy uh, um, to take uh, to take your content and to edit it the way he wanted to edit it and put it out because you missed your deadline. True. But, yeah, you should have filmed that, Joan, anyway. But I ain't mad that you filmed it because, <laughs> well, you already know, Hillary Banks. I mean, I was looking at them videos. I was feeling like Trevor, bro. I was about to jump off a whole airplane bungee jump just to marry. Let me stop. Oh, I was like, Hillary, Hillary, Hillary. All right. So let, let me talk about what I think the, it's not a problem with this episode. Well, I think the main, uh, the main, I don't know how to say it, like um, correlation to all the stories. Um, Everybody had some form of woman problems. I had a problem because of a woman in this episode. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I won't be that guy. But man, the decisions some of these girls was making. Then, of course, some of these dudes following the decision. I'm like, what is going on? What are we doing here? Come on. Be smarter. Y'all the Banks family. Banks family. Think. All right. So after Hillary um found out that uh, her thirst trap got out there online without her noticing, um, and uh, then we go into we go into Uncle Phil uh, is talking to Aunt Viv uh, about that they have to give a little more money to the campaign. She not feeling it. She's saying she don't know. Can she think about it? Kind of find out he already did it. It's his account. He could do what he want anyway. But that was his, you know, his reason. And she didn't like that. She didn't feel that. So that already was a setup. Um, sorry, already was a. Uh, a starting block of where they're going to end up at the end of the episode. Because we've seen previous episodes that he's kind of just moving to do what's best for him, but not really thinking what's best for her. She doesn't feel that. She feels um she's not being supported how she wants to be supported, but she's always supporting him. So even this little scene shows that um it's supposed to justify the way she's thinking. I don't think it does justify the way she's thinking, but that that's what they try to give to the crowd, right? That she, uh, she has the right to be angry and upset. Uh, about what's going on lately and her, you know, flirting outside the marriage. Whatever. Let me stop. We talk about Michael Ely later. All right. So right after that, we go right to um the cross practice, right? Uh, Will, not Will. Sorry, Will. Don't play no goddamn lacrosse. Uh, we got Carlton out there practicing, messing up on some passes. They not feeling it. Apparently, he been trash all week in practice, and they saying, you know, if you ain't you ain't speeding this up at the end of the week. Ah, man, we're going to lose this game. So they put them on the other team, the B team, uh, the pra- I'm going to say the practice squad because they at practice. So they are, everybody is the practice squad, technically speaking. But he goes on the other team right on defense. And um, I think Connor's the, the kid name. Uh, he gets the he gets the pass. He gets the ball. And um, Carlton, like, this is my time. He took a shot at my boy. Like, boom. Looking like Ray Lou was out there. You know what I mean? <laughs> because because of my man, I uh, was at Connor. Uh, my man Connor said some racist comment just a couple seconds before that, you know, about Carlton. Carlton, like, yo, man, this dude just like, I can't take it no more. He deserved this hit. So, of course, Connor falls, break his wrist or sprain his wrist. Everybody's mad about that. He leaves the field, meets Will in the hallway. Will, like, all right, man, what, what's going on? He, he tell them, no, yeah, I hit this guy in practice. They think it's on purpose. Carlton feels like he has nobody, right? He, he's 
uh, lonely, right? All his friends are gone. All his things, like, I don't have no crew no more. I don't have my people. Uh, Will's like, ah, right, you know, I know how to feel, man. <laughs> that's how I feel when I got here. Thanks to you, brother. But still, that's how I got here. But see, I'm Will. You're my cousin. We're going to make this right, brother. So what we're going to do, we're going to throw a party. We're going to make it litty. Everybody's going to show up. You're going to be the life of the party. Then, like, we're going to reset your branding of who you are. So that's going to really build up on their storyline. Then we get to Hillary talking to our mom. Hillary is talking to our Viv, and she she needs to get out this situation, right? She she wants to talk to our dad because he he's going to bully the situation and do what he got to do to get his daughter out of it when it comes to the sexy thirst video that was put online that she doesn't like. No, nah, Viv's like, let's keep it real. Like, you know, your dad is going to protect you. That's what he wants to do. But what about you? What are you, like, are you sure? Are you sure that's the right thing to do? Because he will save you, but saving yourself, you know, saving yourself, remember, saving yourself will make you a better person, will make you grow. All oh, this makes sense, right? So but, uh, Uncle Phil come out, he's like, yo, baby. What's, what's so important? She's like, you know what? I got it, Pop. You know what I mean? She's going to handle herself. There we go. Hillary standing up doing what she got to do. <sighs> Next scene, bro. We got Uncle Phil and Jeffrey in the room, right? Uh, matter of fact, sorry, let's take that back. Before they in the room, Uncle Phil's talking to Aunt Vib and saying, hey, Hillary's okay. She's cool. The Aunt Vib said, yo, I'm about to go to this I don't know, this conference or something like that for art or whatever she had, this festival, whatever she's going to. And then I'm oh, like, oh, you're going to tell me out of nowhere? She's like, yeah, basically how are you going to just take the money and not tell me how you like it, brother? Now, I'm about to go somewhere and tell you last minute because, you know, tit for tat, that's how this life works, you know what I mean? So he looking like, all right, whatever, I support you, I love you. He got to say that stuff because that's what she got to say to him. All right, now he's in the room talking to Jeffrey. He's talking to Jeffrey about some of the things. Like, hey, man, I got to make it up with it. Maybe let's set up a spy data. Man, Jeffrey, you real G, the cleaner, bro. He like, man, ah, forget all that. This boy, I don't know his actual name. Michael Ely, like whoever, you know, boy who, you know, yo, Michael Ely, we got to watch out for boy. <laughs> I got a track record on him. This is what he be doing to these ladies. Feel like, whoa, whoa, what you mean? So let's fast forward. Vivian go down there to the conference. She meets up with Michael Ely. They're talking about certain things they could work on in the future, like um, things she would have to do to, to get ready because people are already interested in her stuff and her work right now. And she hype about that. Out of nowhere, Uncle Phil pop up. What's up? What's up, Playboy? <laughs> How y'all doing? <laughs> Look, y'all having a good time at this table. Just chilling. She's <laughs> definitely shocked that he's there more annoyed she don't know why she's there and then slowly they start explaining why he he's dancing with her at the bar talking to her at the bar trying to you know be so romantic like you know i missed you or just you look great in that dress i wasn't paying more attention to you i put everything on hold i got jeffrey taking care of this i got hillary taking care of that because hillary is at the house running this party um that uncle phil supposed to be at um but will or they write like the basketball team, the cheerleading, um, Carlton. I, I got brought up the the chess club and uh, what was the other one? Dang, the debate team. You know what I mean? Maybe some good conversations there. You know, debate team and some other people, right? So we at the party, people trying to vibe, right? They they you know they all sixteen. You know, I get it. People trying to vibe at the party. Lisa's at the party. Now, I should have brought this up earlier, but y'all seen the show. Lisa, because of the fallout and who her dad is, her dad don't want her around Will, and Uncle Phil don't want Will around Lisa. Both parents. And they both think it for real. It's the campaign. During the campaign, things could come up. We don't want, you know, let's chill out to the campaign over. That's very simple. But kids are kids. Harm balls. Horn balls, that's what they are. So Lisa show up at the party. Will shot. What you doing here? How did you get out the house? Ah, I told my dad I'm hanging out with one of my friends. I'm not really lying because the friends with me at the party. And they already had this conversation. Carlton don't know how they get down. He don't know. Carlton going through a lot right now. That's your cousin, Will. You throwing this party for him. Okay, so let's fast forward a little bit. Just a little bit. We're going to stay in the same party. We have uh, Will telling Lisa... Yeah, look, I didn't tell Carlton yet, but I mean, I'm doing a little matchmaker right now. 
you know, we fast forward a car and talking to the lady who, you know, finds him cool and say, yo, you cooler than your rap. I basically call this man a sellout. He like, what you mean? He like, look, people look at you as this and this. You don't really take an effort to hang out with people who look like you. Um, you don't even show up to uh, some of the, the programs and meetings we have for the black students. You just don't do that at all. And that's not cool. Carlton ain't feeling that. He like, whatever, enjoy the party. He deucing out. We go fast forward. Um, not fast forward. Go to the next scene. We got Will and Vivian. Will and Vivian. Having basically not a fallout, but having a, a brutal, honest conversation, right? They have this, uh, I forgot what word they're using. Like, like can I be, I'm going to say just kind of be brutally honest. And he, they be like, yeah. And she's saying how she feel. This, this, this pissed me off. This, this got me tripped. She going to tell this man and tell us as the crowd, you know, that she resents Uncle Phil for allowing her to step away from art. Because he offered, like, if, if if you're you're struggling right now, I would take care of all the bills and everything, so you don't have to work, you don't have to focus on that. You go, I don't know if you like focus on your school because because she's a professor for art right now. Like she like, and she like she resent him from that for for giving her the opportunity not to like not to work. Like, I, I, what? <laughs> am I am I tripping? You're a grown woman. You, you made a decision. He said, he even said, or like later, like, yo, you was burned out. You was kept questioning yourself. That's what artists do. I'm an artist. I don't compare myself to other artists. I don't be like, yo, am I just as good as Kendrick and them? Am I just, no, man, I'm hot, bro. I got bars, bro. Never lose when I'm talking my two. How my shot to cut my body to skit to my loo. You played out the PS2. Flow hot like my boo. Get green like my undo. Your chick that's super screw our crew. I got my own flow and bars, bro. I'm not comparing myself. So she's saying all that. Nah, you was burned out. You didn't love art no more. You thought it was taking over too much. He gave you like, hey, look, babe, I could take care of everything. You can focus on some other thing. Focus on the kids. Focus on more education. Become a professor. But she was sitting home for that because he stepped up and did what he had to do. Because Philip Banks filled up the bank. The disrespect. Oh, I was angry. Oh, I was so hurt. And then we go through some more foolishness i don't want to you know use too much profanity the foolishness and the next scene we'll be talking about hillary hillary and jazz yeah i mean first of all we gotta start keeping it real jazz come on guys in the comics jazz is how old bro <laughs> jazz like what 20 22 21 we are we gonna know will 16 and he hanging out with a 16 year old come on man Come on, man. Something don't feel right there. Something that we didn't. Come on, man. So he he come over to the party because Will Will say he he wanted to jump on the ox court. Basically, DJ the party. You know what's weird about that? In the beginning of party, we show they show Will talking to a DJ. He had a microphone and everything with turntables. Jazz lion. Jazz trying to jump in them. <laughs> you know? But I ain't mad at you because it's Hillary Banks. Hillary Banks. Tell you, I'm feeling like Trevor jumping off the... Let me stop with the repeat. Let me stop with the repeat. So we, we get Jazz. Jazz and Hillary um, getting closer, right? They talking, they get a drink, they go to this room, and some kids in the room making out. They're like, hey, get out of here, kids. I'm trying to do grown folks business. That's between me and Hillary. So they kiss in the scene, right? Let's just fast forward. They kiss in the scene. I'm going to continue with Hillary's story after this and jump back to the rest of the show. So they're they're kissing, and she gets a text message. Uh, she gets a text, uh, or at least a notification that she knows where the I forget the guy name who runs the house, the, who runs the the creator house, right? Who put up the video? She been trying to call him all day, hit him up all day. He had been annoying her, but now she knows where he at. So Jazz, like, oh, what's going on? Oh, this guy's here. We're gonna. I want to go to there to get him to turn to turn down the, to take down the video. Jazz, like, all right, you know what, man? I'm feeling Hillary. You know what I mean? We just had a good little smooth session. I'm gonna ride, yo. I'm, I'm there with you. Let's go, ma. You know what I mean? Jump in the whip. Now they get down there. She see. She's told Jazz, look, I got this. I want to tell him to take it down. He said, you know, I got your back. You know, so so she sees him on the couch. Hillary walks up, gangster on him. Yo, um, you won't have to take that down. He go like, oh, I'm sorry. 
he starts explaining why he did it i didn't want to evade your privacy it was just there it wasn't my intentions she said i don't want i don't want that promotion for me even though it's kind of weird she dressed for every she shows off her body i guess you could say in the most classiest way possible of showing off your body she wears short skirts you know she she wear like she shows her belly sometimes she shows a lot of shoulders and cleavage so uh, i guess she's saying this is the it feel like what she did in the video was the very next step to what she already was doing but uh, she's talking as in like it was like seven steps ahead of that and that's not her branding at all but okay so she still comes to like, okay, take it down. He he kind of gets to the point, if you want me to take it down, cool. Well, Jazz is behind her, backing her up. You know what I mean? Because he thinking, yeah, my new woman, basically, right? He like, my new woman say, <laughs> take it down, playboy. Take it down. But he's just like, look, sorry, we get a lot of traction on it. Some people come up by congratulating her on, oh, I love the video. I love that thing. You showing your sexuality. That's gold, girl. Be, don't be apologetic for it. It was fire, right? She's looking like, all right, what's going on? And then he said, look, I feel you. I understand. I got some Victoria Secret people here who wanted to talk to you. But you know what? If that's not what you want to do, cool. And then Jazz like, bro, you heard my woman, bro. She said, take it down, boy. Take it down. I'm going to take you down. So my man said, I don't want no problem with this. I don't know what's going on here, but I'm cool. I take it down. Then she said, wait, 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 wait. Do we really need to take it down? Can I see what these people need? Can I just, like, maybe let's see, let's have a little conversation. Well, what are they talking about? The lingerie people, what are they talking about? You know, then she said, Jazz, you can give me that drink. And then my band going to say, yeah, give me whatever she's having. The disrespect. The disrespect. That's what happens, bro. When you chasing these girls. This whole episode, bro, you chasing these women. They ain't thinking straight, bro. So after all of that, she uh she she has the quick meeting with the people from um Victoria's Secret, I believe it is. And she sees Jazz at the bar. Jazz already ordered her drink, but her ice is melted. That's how long he'd be sitting there waiting. Right. So she's saying, sorry, but you know, I'll talk to the people. They want to offer me 15,000 every time I post up. I asked for 15,000 just for, you know, wearing their lingerie in the video. So she's going to keep doing the sexy Jones. After she just said, that's not her branding. That's not what she want to do. She's this and this. She quickly sold out. Quickly. Well, she's not in a position that she needs to sell out. Looking at her mom and her dad and this and this, she could stay on brand. After she was going to go to her dad, who's a lawyer, who went to her mom, she um, even bringing Jazz along to come down there to back her up. She, she, and this and this, and she don't understand why Jazz is upset. Jazz like, look, I'm just sitting here waiting for you. I came down here for this reason. You, you reneged on that reason. Now I'm sitting here looking stupid. And she like, I don't understand. Uh, look, you don't have Instagram for that long. You don't know. It's integrity, ma. But that's what you get though, Jazz. You was, ch you was chasing a brother. They don't know what they want, brother. <laughs> what do you thought this was? You, you thought she had everything on lock. I mean, all right. So that's the end of, I think, Her Her Hillary's storyline for the show. Okay, Uncle Phil um, and um, Aunt Vivian, let's just get their story out of the way because there wasn't that much left. So after they had this conversation about, you know, why they did what they did and Uncle Phil confronting earlier in the show, um, Michael Ely character saying, bro, I see what you did to these women. You, you know, you, you seduced them. You descended to this, the young artist. Where are they now? They're for trying to protect his wife. After they had the conversation, she asked Uncle Phil to leave. You should leave and go back home. She ended up going back to the bar, meeting up with Michael Ely. Basically just, they have the conversation. She, and he's saying, look, I understand. I ain't trying to, you know, be no cause to nothing. If you need to take a step back, that's cool. She said, no, she want to go forward with the process of like pursuing her art and doing it in, in a fashion that he feels is the best thing for it. That's the end of their storyline. So we're going to see where they're going to go in a different episode, like what happens, you know? All right. So after we got that, let's just get to the main storyline. We have Carlton and Will. We're at the party, man. Carlton, after he talks to the girl, she called him a sellout. He just wanted to be left alone. He has a little conversation with Will. He's like, I appreciate what you're trying to do. You're my cousin. I understand that, but I just want to be alone. My man alone, chilling in his room. He gets a text message from my homie, John, who's a part of the lacrosse team. He said, yo, we in the pool room. Where you at? All right, Carlton, like, oh, what's going on? He went there. He seen John on the lacrosse team. He's like, oh, God, I didn't know you guys going to show up. I thought 
you know, I mean, I was probably Emmy number one. They said, nah, man, it's nothing like that. And guess who's there? Connor's there, right? Look, Connor, what you doing here? He said, oh, John invited me. Basically, John said, look, man, we got a team. We trying to win. We trying to hit the playoffs. We need to squash just whatever this is. And Carlton like, okay, I understand. And looks at Connor and said, look, bro, let's just start with, can you apologize for all the racist stuff you're saying? Not just about me, black people, about Asian people, gay people, whatever. The whole, the whole rainbow, the whole cultures, you made fun of everybody, bro. You, you clipped everybody up. You like family guy. Nobody had any cuts, bro. You, you, you came at everybody. Connor was like, all right, you know what? You nutty for that, bro. You soft. <laughs> you want me to apologize for my actions? <laughs> Why would I do that? I'm privileged, sir. <laughs> you know who I am? I'm Connor, bro. <laughs> this is what I do. So, yo, John, let's go, bro. Let's lead. Let's let's blow this taco stand. Even though John's agent, clearly agent, he just said you're making agent jokes, this and this. And some of the other guys look like, I guess, they're gay on the team. I guess that's the type of image they were showing. And it, um, they all looked at Connor like, no, we cool, bro. We're going to stay here with Carlton. Connor like, all right. I right, forget all of y'all then. You know what I mean? A piece. So he left. Okay. Now what happened next, man? It, it was nutty. So after he had a conversation with Connor, we got uh, Will and Lisa. Uh, we have Will and Lisa. Lisa going to head up to Will's room to charge her by phone. Man, <laughs> we know what that's about. <laughs> Will like, oh, what you doing up here? Well, you just trying to charge your phone, or you trying to, you know what I mean? She said, I'm just trying to try to charge my phone, and you know what I mean. <laughs> so she look at some of his awards and all that good stuff. They have a conversation, um, um, talking to general, and then the conversation come up. She said, like, why did you come here from Philly? Now this. This is crazy because in the beginning of the episode, Uncle Phil said to the bull, "Yo, y'all getting close. You like her? She don't know why you here from Philly." She, you're going to want to start opening up and saying too much. And that might hurt the campaign. And, you know, and then this is the same day, the same day at night. She's asking me these questions. That should have been like, you know what? She shouldn't be here. Let's get her out of there. No. So he's saying, you go first. She tells him some, her real name is not Lisa. It's like, it's not Barbara or something else. It could be Barbara. It's, it's just some old black name. <laughs> so, so, but that's her, her middle name is Lisa. So he said the reason why he's in here is for education. He 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 didn't tell her the actual truth, just in case it could be used against his uncle. Um, but he just said, look, it's the education. That's why I'm here. This is an essence and broke down that. She's filling them. They get a a text message. No, okay. Her phone, I think, has a text message come through. He said, Your phone charger works fast. Let's head back down to the party. She like party. We're not heading back to no party. She fled to the bed and said, how come we just can't stay here? Now, Will, to be fair, the boy is still 16 years old, bro. He, he was in like, well, man can't live off of bread and water alone. You know what I mean? Dive right in that, dive right in that bed, boy. Uh, so while he's uh, upstairs um, creating the beast with two backs, <laughs> you know, um, Carlton, it's feeling great, right? After, like, you know, he stood up to Connor, this and this. He got his whole crew back. He's going around asking people to party. Hey, man, you seen Will? You seen Will? They're like, no, we haven't seen Will. He's like, all right, cool. Um, he's about to um, go upstairs, but he gets a text message before that from nut-ass Connor, bro. Talking about, hey, man, you got some new guys coming to your party. Good luck, you anhole. You know what I mean? I'm like, come on, bro. He nutty for that. I thought he was going to bring some homies over to try to box him. I'm like, Will, better get down there and throw them hands. So Carlton is feeling actually nervous walking up the steps. Like he knows Will in his room, he's knocking boots. Halfway walking up the steps, the cops enter. Ask who houses is it? Carlton turn around. Oh, okay. Sorry, guys. I live here. And they was like, yeah, you better back up. Start treating this man like, like he looked like old dirty bastard, right? He's like, yo, like, <laughs> she's like, oh, you clearly can't live here, Negro. That's how they looked at him. Like they pushed him back. And I don't know where Will sees the cop lights where he's laying with Lisa. Yeah, you know I mean, like shirts off, all in the bed. They having a good time. And he like, oh, the cops here. We gotta hurry up and like, we gotta hurry up. I gotta go downstairs to make sure Carlton's okay and everything's okay. Lisa says, "All right, I'm gonna go with you." My man Will's like, "Nah, what? what you? <laughs> no, that doesn't make sense. Why would you?" Come with me. That just that doesn't make sense. That's just not going to happen. 
uh, she say no because my dad is who my dad is and I can squash this as whatever. See, stuff like this, bro. Even before this, there was an account, there was a lady in the bed. Will say he don't care what his uncle thinks. He don't care what his dad, it's like Romeo and Juliet at this point. We're going to be together. You, my woman. She like all that goofy stuff. So she catch herself trying to help the situation. You didn't help no situation. You telling me they ain't got no other way to get downstairs in the house? They ain't got no, they ain't got the like the steps that go right to the kitchen, like the Huxtable house. They ain't got none of that. They ain't got, they ain't got no way. No, you walk downstairs. And then we'll walk right down afterwards. Now, call to know y'all was knocking boots. Y'all was doing y'all thing. Y'all was having a great, lovely time. Everybody downstairs drinking stiff drinks, and you taking a stiffy upstairs, Lisa. I'm hurt. It was disrespectful. And that's how the show ends. <laughs> that's, that's it. I was like, okay, let's get this straight. I like this. I like the episode, by the way, because um, it's a drama. And I think, you know, they they gave you the drama. They just gave it to you via relationships this episode. It didn't push the story plot of like um, like uh, Uncle Phil and, and the campaign. It, it was more about the relationship. So Will and um, sorry, Will and Lisa, Will and Carlton, um, Hillary and um, the house manager, Hillary and Jazz, Uncle Phil, Aunt Vivian. Um, I'm Vivian and the Michael Ely character. So it was like everybody, like their relationships got pushed to the test. So we learned some things about how people feeling romantically and like are how they getting a little more distant from their partner in this episode. So in that case, I would say it's a drama. It, it brung the drama. Um, it has some comedy elements to it. I still think this episode is a win. All right. I would say that before I get in my duff, it's a win. Um, I feel like, so I think they're seven and oh, so I'd like to hear what y'all think. All right. Cause I know a lot of people, some people last time they said it was six and no, they agree with me. Do you think this is a win that well, I just they first loss of the season. I don't think so. I don't think they eight and oh, I mean, seven and no, they're hitting strong to the playoffs and they, they got a good chance to win this championship. So let's see what happens here. After I said that, I like the show. Good stuff. Now let's talk about the, the nuances of some of these people personalities, right. Or like what they was doing in the episode. Let's start with Aunt Viv first, because I want to get to Will later, bro. We're going to save Will at the end, because he's from Philly, you know what I mean? He's supposed to be rocking out, but he ain't, bro. He ain't. <laughs> All right, so we got Aunt Viv. They've been showcasing this season, like, she wants to get back on her art, but, but Uncle Phil's not at talking about it. And then she admits here that he never brung up you getting back into your work, even though everybody else did, right? And she resents him from briefly stepping up and saying he could take care of everything while she focused on other things. Bro, what? Yo, they, so somebody said they think Aunt Vivian going to cheat on the show. I said, nah, but they, they laying down, they, they pitting down the groundwork now for, in her mind to believe she should step out because she's getting, she's getting validation outside of her marriage that she's not getting in it. And she's upset about that. I ain't trying to hear this, bro. That's Aunt Viv and Uncle Phil, bro. I don't want to, I don't want to see that, bro. I don't want to see that. <laughs> I, don't, I know it caused drama. I ain't trying to see that. So I didn't like that whole thing. And she asked her home to leave afterwards. Nah, man, that was nutty, bro. That was nutty. It's like the, the reason why I didn't give it an L for this episode is because it's very accurate to a lot of ladies I know decisions they would make. They don't make no sense sometimes. No sense. Nobody in my family, you know, they, they're smart ladies. You know what I mean? They, they do what they got to do, right? But some of these ladies out here be making goofy decisions. I mean, I mean no, no offense, but look at Rihanna, you know what I mean? Great star, got whatever she want. I mean, of course, this is the outside looking in. We don't know how people really act behind the scenes. But outside looking in, she has everything. She's a sex symbol to a lot of people. They look at her as one of the most beautiful girls on the planet. And like, you know, and she could choose any guy. And you got this guy in Drake, uh, this, this, this nice guy who wants to treat her like a queen, who has all the money in the world, who's a big star himself. She chooses that he said Rocky instead. What was going on here? What's going on? <laughs> That's how I felt here. It's like this stupid decision. It's just so after we get off um on Vivian and her dumb decision, let's go to her daughter, Hillary, making dumb decisions. You started the whole episode, sister, and of course you, Hillary. So I like what you do. But you started the whole upset that you filmed yourself in lingerie cooking. First of all, you filmed it. 
that was weird anyway. And now you had to change your heart. I guess, all right, before I had, you had to change your heart. He uploaded it. You was angry. I don't believe this. I've been hitting him all day. He's he's ghosting me. I'm going to catch him. Matter of fact, I'm going to get my lawyer dad on his heels. All that stuff. To, to end up going to, well... Well, I got some, I, I, I got, I got some big pops for it. And Victoria's Secret now want to pay me fifteen thousand for wearing their lingerie instead. So you want to continue doing the thing that you say you didn't want to do. You want to sexualize yourself. You don't want to do all this. And then you bring this guy Jazz along. You know, like okay, I'm going to protect her and whatever. Even though he was goofy for you, were thinking that you don't even know her like that. What do you do? They they hung out before and things like that. But the idea is like you went there, and you're thinking like you do something like you you you're you're behind her back, right? What she feels is best, you want to defend her. Hold on one second. Yeah, there we go. We back. Like, you want to defend her. Then what happens? She like, nah, she leaves you at the bar, nutty, right? You're not even in on the meeting. You you're sitting at the bar, drinks belting, you looking goofy. She comes to you, basically says she's sorry, and she could give you gas money. What? Ga gas money. That's what you think I want. That, that's what you think I'm upset. Gas money. You right. Say no more. Check, bro. Check, bro. Yo, and check out of that, bro. Like they making goofy decisions, but you letting her do it too. After she do it once, bro, you can't. You holler it again. It's your fault. All right. Now let's get to the main event: Will versus Carlton versus Lisa. This episode, Will was doing so great with Carlton, showing him we're family. I'm here for you, bro. I understand what you're going through. I want to help you out, bro. And then it actually works. You know, he had a couple of rough, um, rough spots in the night. Finding out how um, the other Afro-American um, people in the school view him as a sellout, this and this, and standing up to, to, to Connor. Like, you know, I'm sick of all your racist slurs and things you be saying. You got to change. And then have his team back him up. Like, so he finds his um his crew again, right? And they have a different life for him. He's probably going to step up and, 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 um, and take an effort of, like, um, showing some interest in the people um he he resembles he look, looks alike and like say like let me see if, you know what they're going through and this like it seemed like he's about to open up he wants to thank will and will is knocking boots with lisa we talked about this the last episode bro it don't make sense why you want to be with lisa bro you you from you i'm from north philly yeah 30 from dolphin pa park f yeah foreign street what's up yeah what's good with you Used to rock out on Hollywood Street. Yeah. I mean, that's farther up. That's like, you know, 20, 29, 30, Hollywood Street rocking out. Yeah. That was me. So, Will, you from the city I'm from, and you think it's cool to pursue your cousin's ex, who he still wants to be with, who you live with. That don't make no sense, my G. And then what Uncle Phil say, yo, you might want to step back. And she tell you that my dad said he want us to step back. You start knocking boots, bro. You Willie Smith, bro. You Willard, you Willard Smith, sir. All them girls in school, are you swaggy out, bro? Get one of them. You nutty for that, bro. Now I don't want to hear it. No, 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 Lisa, you love it. No, nah, bro. At least be down there for a year first, bro. You you knock enough waves. Carlton shit, boy. If I was Carlton, I crack your arm, boy. I split your shit like the voice parents, bro. I'm saying, bro, if I'm Carlton, I'm snapping. I'm snapping if I'm Carlton, bro. I'm snapping if I'm Carlton. I'm snapping if I'm Carlton. Let me stop. We're back. That was my views, man. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. You know, thumbs up and all that kind of stuff. Uh, tell me what I need to work on. Man, don't be cruel. Be nice. Be respectful. And we could talk, man. And again, if y'all already put it down, Oh, what's this episode? Is it is it seven and up? I think it is. I think the show brought the drama. It pushed the story of like creating more drama between Will and Carlton, um, more more drama between uh, Vivian and Uncle Phil, and now some some new drama between Jazz and Hillary. So it gives some stuff there. We didn't get no Ashley in this episode, but she's twelve years old. We don't really need that much Ashley, you know. She can't really bring that much to the table. But again. Great episode. You know, I find it fun. A lot of talking points. You, you know, you just a slave. Catch y'all. And that's just slave man.